Hello everybody and welcome to this very quick walkthrough of the iPhone configuration utility. It's a free and easy configuration utility for iOS devices. Our agenda, uh, we'll make a very quick introduction to the iPhone configuration utility, which by the way also works for iPads. We'll take a quick tour of the product and discuss how to use the profiles created. Now, let's very quickly go through a cool utility I was presented with uh, today. Let's imagine that you are an IT administrator for a smaller company or a larger company for that sakes, and you, as part of your job, needs to set up everybody's iPhones or new employees' iPhones. Well, you can of course do this manually, or you can do it actually automatically, and this is pretty cool. Uh, what you do is you go uh, into Google, uh, you enter iPhone configuration utility, and one of the first hits, or the first hit, will be this Apple support iPhone enterprise. This will bring you to this page. And right here you can download the iPhone configuration utility for Windows or for Mac OS. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to create either a config file which you can import on your phone or you can you can do it in several ways you can actually do it from the utility you can plug the phone into your computer and from the utility you can upload the config uh, file so you can create config files for each employee with specific settings or you can create a generic uh, profile for your company where for instance only the uh, domain name, username and email is missing and then you can upload this uh, file to uh, a web server and you can ask uh, the user, well just go to this web page and it will download the configuration to your phone and once you've got it on your phone uh, it will ask you to uh, enter your uh, email address and username and domain name and password. So Basically, that's that's it. And let's say uh, we've uh, with this utility we've created um, a configuration file. We've uploaded to our internet server, and we've uh, asked the user to go to this link we've sent them. It actually needs to be the full link with the full file name also included. But they've got the uh, the full link, and once they go to this base they will be shown something like this on their iPhone. Uh, this is just an example but it will say uh, this and that. Uh, do you want to install? And yes I would like to install this and you'll have all the settings installed. Oh, the user will only need to enter the uh, username and password and email address for instance. This is pretty simple, so even the users themselves can, can, can do this and, and you do not need to uh, go in uh, on each uh, device and set up everything. It's pretty cool. I'll be going through some of the uh, features of this program in, in a little while and you can see uh, just how amazing, uh, cool this utility really is. So, good luck uh, setting up uh, all these devices. Thank you. So, now you've installed uh, the iPhone configuration utility. Uh, let's go through it uh, very quickly so you can create a uh, profile and test it. What you do is you go to the uh, profile, configuration profiles. Here you can see I've already created one, uh, a test one for the company. Uh, we'll create a new one and you can see here it's called uh, profile name. We'll give it a name, uh, test profile, an identifier. Um, this is really uh, not very important, but we can call it company uh, the company and a profile description. The security field here is quite important because you here select when you can remove this profile once installed and 
uh, the default is always you can choose with authentication then it will require a password to remove the profile and you can choose never if you choose never then the only way to remove this profile once installed on your iPhone is to reset the device to factory default so for testing purposes I would say always is the way to go here you move to passcode and you can configure uh, passcode policy uh, if we click here we can say that uh, okay we will allow a simple value that's the the numeric uh, keyboard um, we say the minimum password strength is four um, minimum number of complex characters we don't fill that out because we just want numbers here um, the maximum passcode age you can also set and uh, well this is pretty self-explaining um, then you can choose when the device will auto lock that's when it will turn off and, and uh, the screen and we say let's say two minutes uh, grace period for device lock how long uh, will the device be available before it goes into lock and here you can see you have from immediately to four hours I would say perhaps five minutes would be a good uh, thing to go for and here you can choose the number of attempts before uh, the device is uh, wiped so if you choose four and a user tries four times to enter uh, his password or security code and fails then it will wipe the device the fifth time he fails so uh, use a little bit of caution here but uh, basically it's a good thing okay we move to restrictions configure and here you can see we have a lot of cool features we can allow or disallow installing of apps we can disallow the camera the camera we can disallow FaceTime uh, we can allow uh, screen capture basically you can decide a lot of things for the user so but again do think before uh, making too uh, strict restrictions because it, it could cause problems for the users and it could be difficult to change later so um, think before you restrict too much the Wi-Fi this is actually pretty cool if your company has a, a corporate Wi-Fi you can set it up here corporate Wi-Fi also join uh, you can say here's uh, VPA and the password is password or whatever and you can set up proxy server if you use a proxy server if you have a VPN you can go in here and you can set up uh, the VPN connection for the users um, email um, you can set up uh, an email account for the user uh, this is not the exchange email this is a regular email like IMAP or a pop which is pretty cool if you got an exchange server you can set up uh, active sync to the phone and if you leave as it says here uh, the domain name and the username and the uh, email address and password leave it empty it will prompt the user so you can actually create a profile for the user and the first uh, time they try to use it it will ask them for the domain name the username and the email address once they enter that everything else is configured for the user it's very very easy LDAP well uh, we don't use this but I guess you could use it for for something uh, calendar again if, if you use some some kind of uh, corporate system that that has this um, subscribe calendars you can have an online calendar perhaps uh, for the company to share the same for uh, cards uh, 
it's these um, it's these contact cards, uh, business type cards, electronic business cards, web clips. Um, I actually don't know what this is, but uh, web clip. Okay. Yeah. Uh, something to uh, <laughs> to test, I guess. Uh, credentials, certificates, etc. Um, and basically, there is a lot of things you can enter here and configure for the user. And the basically, the, oh, the basic thing here is that you can actually make it very, very easy for the user. So. This was a very, very quick uh, walkthrough of the features. Once you have set up all the features, you will move to export. And uh, unless you got a certificate, uh, it should be a certificate that is uh, on the approved list uh, from, from one of the trusted uh, uh, parties uh, on the net. If you don't have this, uh, then you can of course use your own company certificates but again this would require that it's the certificate is known by the device and it's basically not very good so uh, if you just internally just select none and you can export it uh, and you can call it let's say call it iPhone mobile config and we already have one so we don't overwrite that but basically we've created a profile here and we've saved it to um, to our disk the next step will be to upload this config file to your um, uh, intranet server or uh, if you think a little bit about it then you can also upload it to your uh, internet site actually um, if you upload it to your internet site then I suggest that you do not uh, include features such as Wi-Fi where you will enter passwords but if you just enter uh, the basic email configuration without the usernames or domain names or passwords then I don't really see the problem having it lying on the uh, on the internet the cool thing about this is that you can say to a new employee well if you want to configure the uh, email for your uh, device just go to uh, this address or you can actually just SMS them uh, the link to the internet site and they get this and they say okay and they'll be asked to install these uh, features once they connect to the site and just like that, they have configured uh, the uh, the mail uh, part of uh, of this, and once they are uh, no longer uh, working for you, or let's say they uh, for some reason don't want to have this configuration anymore, they can simply remove it, and it will remove all the uh, corporate features from the uh, the phone also. So it's a very, very cool utility uh, and, and very easy to, to get uh, started with. Anyhow, uh, here I'll just very briefly show you how to upload your uh, config file you created uh, in the iPhone uh, utility before and uh, what you need to do in order to make it uh, work. Well, first thing, you create a, a new site you add a website. I've already done this. It's the iPhone config site. Then you need to go into MIME type and you need to add this uh, type uh, you created, the mobile config. And you simply do this by adding and you'll then add this mobile config and you will set the type to text slash pane right now you've done this you also make sure that uh, 
users have uh, access to this uh, folder uh, and well basically unless you have some uh, security issues I would say that uh, anyone should be able to uh, to read this uh, if you're having further problems uh, for the user to, to access the file then it could be something with uh, requested filtering where you could go in here and you can uh, check some of these uh, settings and, and make some uh, some uh, modifications but it shouldn't be necessary so basically you need to set up the MIME type that's the most important uh, thing and then all you do is you uh, email or SMS the user this uh, link to this config file and once they load this config file this is how it will look in your web browser but your iPhone will interpret this as a mobile config file and it will pop up a dialog showing you okay so you want to set up uh, your iPhone please accept and if you accept then it will uh, set up all these settings uh, do not under any circumstances rename uh, the, the file you uh, the file you exported from um, the iPhone configuration utility it needs to be called uh, .mobile config otherwise it won't work so but basically this is it on an ISS server. Uh, you can also, of course, upload it to, to any kind of server. Um, and, well, basically, that's it. It's very simple.